Okay. Hello everybody. Today we will discuss an interesting case which is very rarely seen in routine practice. Now I want you to focus at this x-ray skull. This patient presents to you with road traffic accident and this is the scanogram image of a CT scan which is shown to you. Can you uh, identify the findings seen here? Is there any finding here? Look at the x-ray skull, RTA patient, road traffic accident comes to you. Okay. Now to give you another clue, I want you to look at the CT image. Now let us look at it carefully. We can identify the skull vault. Maybe you know we can see some extra axial hematoma, hematoma in the brain. What are these linear structures? What are these linear structures? Okay, look at the skull x-ray again. Can you identify some finding here? Now think of it. What are these? Now, when this patient first came to us in emergency, I saw the CT scan. I was confused. What is it? It was not making sense. What is this structure? And then when I saw the scanogram, I could make out this linear thing extending from the nasal cavity into the brain, into the skull. And you can see some beads here. What is it? And it turned out to be intracranial placement of Ryle's tube which is a rare thing which happens sometimes it's very rarely reported in RTA patients especially with complex craniofacial fractures you sometimes uh, over zealous resident with a cripple plate fracture in the patient and he has pushed the dial tube into the brain it was shocking for us when we saw it first but it is uh, very rarely reported and so one look at the CT, you may, you know, think of what is it, what is it? So always make a point to look at the scanograms in the, skull, in the brain CT as well, especially in trauma patients. It has been reported before. It is a known complication of wrong placement of Ryle's tube into the skull, especially in patients with craniofacial fractures. Thank you.